Hello Internet, welcome back to our Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead series. In the last episode, we explored kind of the countryside, just looking for some science labs. Ultimately, we didn't find anything that we felt safe to visit, although we did see an irradiation plant that had some turrets on the outskirts, so we know where we can go if we ever get desperate for more ammunition. After that, we returned back to base, really nothing to report there, and we began putting these vehicle parts that we had gathered into our vehicle. Mainly, this was us crafting larger storage batteries for installation. We installed those in our vehicle and we are pretty good to go. I do think we're going to do some more vehicle work, but for the most part, our vehicle is in a great place. And with that, internet, welcome back to our series. I see we are very hungry and very thirsty. Oh, actually, before we begin, did have some mic issues uh, today. Uh, Windows decided that my microphone is only allowed to function at 10% volume, so I had quite a headache with that. Not sure what uh, caused it to do that, so I'm a little concerned that I might not sound like my typical self. I'm hoping that things are okay. Why Why is meat not highlighted here? Where's my, my meat? Chunk of meat? My freezer is full of meat. What happened? What happened to our freezer? It's empty. We had... Uh, we had dozens and dozens of chunks. Oh no, did I auto sort them out? Oh, that'd be really bad. Where where did my meat go? Scraps of meat, chunks of meat. How did you get in here? The freezer is not an unsorted tile. Why would it why would it sort them out of my vehicle like that? That's uh concerning. Why why would you do that? Did I make this un There's no way that the freezer tile is listed as unsorted unsorted 10 to the south one to the south how did that happen oh did i place those outside no it would have to be tied to a vehicle part but you can't tie multiple tiles to a to multiple vehicle parts at once you have to do them individually i don't know why that happened let's remove that that means a lot of stuff got sorted because we had stuff on the side panels too didn't we that's worrisome. Let's get this meat back in the freezer before it goes bad. Oh, and we had all those organs as well. We need to put all of this back in the freezer. I'm glad that I noticed that. That could have been really bad. We would have lost quite a lot of calories. So let's just look for things that are color-coded as perishable. Because we had a lot of organs. So here we have lungs. Uh, we can put the plant marrow back in. I guess we could search for cold because these things would be unfreezing and then we can search as well for frozen and there's fat there what is this uh i can clearly see a meat is this a meat sprite what are you fruits and vegetables there's obviously a meat product here still oranges pickles no maybe it's like uh oh sweet bed okay kidneys we don't seem to have volume for this. We'll have to come back. We, we need this stuff in the freezer. That's really worrisome. I'm, I'm surprised I did that. Anyway, um, yeah, I had some, some audio issues starting things up. I think I fixed them, but I am a little concerned. I did a lot of testing. It seemed okay, but it doesn't look the way it normally looks. It looks a little bit more aggressive, and the sound waves are, are much more jagged, which makes me think that I've overcorrected and made the volume too loud. So really worried about that, but we'll we'll plow through anyway. It also changed my output settings as well. I don't know why it made it so I couldn't hear anything from my computer. Just super obnoxious. I hate Windows does this all the time. Uh, anytime there's an update, I have to reinstall my EQ and everything. Uh, and there's really no clear reason why it does that. And then Microsoft for the last few Windows releases has made it to where Unless your microphone has its own independent volume, it they don't function. USBs don't they don't really function on Windows. And it's very annoying. Rotten cracklins, no thank you. Anyway, that's enough of that. We don't need to talk about it. But yeah, so having some issues hopefully is a non-issue. Also had a little bit of bad news today, uh, which we're not going to talk about because I don't want to be real depressed on on the video, but had some not good news today. So I'm not feeling great. And yesterday was also very terrible. So not feeling super amazing. And 
hopefully is not going to be an issue. So we're just gonna play some Cataclysm. We're gonna not think about it, right? That's what we do. That's what humans do when we're having a bad time. We just put those thoughts out of our mind. We try to have a good time. Plus I took my medication, so hopefully that will lighten my burden over the, the rest of the day. It is a hot one today. I had to choose between using the air conditioner and recording. I had to pick one or the other. I do have a little fan going. I don't think you would be able to hear it. If you remember last year, um, basically I complain about the heat a lot. I hate the heat. Um, I'm a winter boy. I like me some cold weather. And uh, yeah, last year I bought, I basically, I went to Amazon and was like, okay, I want the quietest fan that you have in existence. So I went on Amazon and was Googling around for quiet fans and I bought a fan and I was excited because I was like, maybe I can finally have some cool air while I'm recording because uh, it gets extremely stuffy in here. And I got the fan and I don't know if I admitted this to you at the time, but I bought the wrong thing. It was supposed to be a bigger fan and I accidentally bought this little tiny itty bitty fan. In fact, it is a, it has a stand, so it's clearly meant to be just placed on a table or something, but it's actually a CPU fan. So like it's the size of the fan in your computer. Um, in fact, my fans on my computer are bigger than the, the fan that I purchased. I thought they all were the same size computer fans, but I guess not. Um, so yeah, it's this teeny tiny little fan. It doesn't really do much for me, but I have it pointed at my abdomen at the moment. Hopefully will keep me cool as I go through and hopefully it's far enough away from the microphone that you don't hear a quiet droning noise but with the background music and with the sound effects and all that I, I'm not too concerned it is uh, unfortunately it's much too loud to run my AC uh, for while I'm while I'm trying to do recording that would be the ideal world I have a janky window unit you know it's about oh we don't those books aren't good for us so we're just gonna read some books from inside I guess because the books on the outside um, remember we didn't have anything that we could read because we had already got all the skills and we can do vehicle work at night like we can stand inside and use the aisle lights but I think we will just wait for morning it's a little bit easier so what do we want to read internet we could raise electronics to five we could become a better cook we could uh, start training devices I don't see a reason to do that Mechanics to 8. Can't really think of anything I need for Mechanics 8. I think you get a new engine at Mechanics 8. You can add an extra engine. Not something I'm super into <laughs> at the moment. We don't really have any reason to add multiple engines. And then it's mostly just garbage. Okay, um, why don't we... When you harvest CBMs, it's electronics, right? It's not computers, it's electronics. Why don't we raise electronics to five? None of these are gonna be things I want either. Yeah, let's just raise electronics to five. So we'll read a bit here until until daylight. Yeah, I you know, last year I, I was so miserable. It's so hard to record when, without air conditioning. It gets so, so, so hot some days. Like today it's about 85 degrees outside and it gets very stuffy in my, in my bedroom here. And I, tried to figure out how to record with the AC on, but even on the lowest fan settings, the compressor is just so loud. And, and I thought last year, I was like, okay, well by this time next year, I will go basically build a fake wall that I can put in the back of the room that'll, and then put sound treatment stuff on it so that it will block the sounds of the AC, but still allow the room to be cool. So that was my ultimate goal was to build like a half wall kind of in the middle of the room or at the bare minimum set up some uh, like um, like curtain rods and curtains and then just use that to dampen the sound. Unfortunately, that never really panned out. Uh, it's kind of a big project. I, I, I don't have very much. I'm not very handy. So I, I don't think that that would be something I would be able to do really. And yeah, just stuck, stuck in the heat, I guess, is, is what we're gonna be doing. So yeah, definitely makes things harder. You know, I love, I love the winter time, man. I wish it was cold all year round here, but you know, and, and I talk to people online and they're always like, yeah, where I live, it's always this exact temperature. And I'm like, you are lucky because here it fluctuates. Some, sometimes 
when I go to work at like two in the morning, it'll be like 14 degrees. And then other days I will go to work and it'll be 85 degrees overnight. And you're like, my God, just kill me. So it's always a, always a mess. So what I think we want to do here with our vehicle, I would like to pull the engine out and put it in the back. If we're going to do something, we might as well. I want to put a ram on it and then I want to go back and get more cargo spaces so that we can fill in these few remaining tiles that don't have anything in them. I also think we should start at some point we should assign these things what they should store and then I can auto sort into it because we're getting to the point where we're going to go mobile. We're not going to be having a base really. I think we'll start being mobile. I would like to cross through this town and start exploring some of these other spokes. Obviously going through town is a huge ordeal. I often crash into things. I'm a bad driver, whatever. So it would be not the easiest thing in the world because we're in a pretty big, pretty big city here. So there would be a lot of monsters. Um, I think, why don't we focus on putting a ram on it? So let's see what we need to make some of these rams in fact let's look for ram okay chitin no it would require too much chitin and i believe the biosilicified i'm assuming is how you say that chitin is much more rare than standard chitin so i don't see us doing that 150 percent damage 320 durability because we can source regular chitin in pretty big numbers just by wandering around killing roaches uh, i think we saw some spiders around it would give a lot of chitin, but I don't think we're going to do that. So let's look what else we got. Heavy steel, 150 damage, d way more durability. So like almost triple the durability there. Uh, requires hard plating. I do think we can make hard plating. Military composite we would have to source manually, but we have seen some military vehicles, although none of them were here. I think they were back in the town we just came from. Spiked ram is spiked plating, steel plating, super alloy plating. Okay, so let's look for, what's it called, hard, uh, what's this called? Hard plating. Let's see what that takes to craft. Hard plating. Oh, we can't make that? We probably can, we just are not near our books. Let's try again. Hard plating. Really, can't make, I remember making isn't that the one I made before? Okay. Uh, let's look at just standard steel ram. Oh, that is the hard plating. I don't I don't know how to make that though. Um, spiked ram is spiked plating. Steel ram is steel plating. Okay, why don't we just look for plating? <laughs> plating. We can only make the steel and it takes lumps of steel. So I don't have any of the chitin recipes either. We have a really high fab. Don't we have like fab six or something? Yeah, fab six. What's our mechanics? Six. You would think we'd have access to those recipes. Maybe we don't have the books. Uh, okay. Well, we can make steel plating. We need a lot of lumps of steel. Why don't we go do that? We haven't smashed a car in a while. Let's drop our spear here so we will find it. I don't have my spear. Ah. <sighs> Hopefully dropped it in here as I was cooking. <laughs> yes. So we'll take that and drop that in a place where we will definitely notice our spear. That way we don't lose that big beautiful thing we've made. We'll grab a baseball bat and we'll go out and we'll just batter some local, <laughs> some local vehicles. Get ourselves, oh, wait a minute. We have some steel materials. So when we were forging, let's just look what we have here. Copper spear. Really no metal. Where did I put my metal? We had uh, we had quite a lot, didn't we? This is Niles. Yeah, we should take that apart as well and bring that to our vehicle so we don't forget our crane. And I thought I had a ton of metal. Scrap metal? No. Did I? Well, if it was in here, we would have had it available. All right. Well, let's let's go source some lumps of steel. And we can do this a couple ways. We could take frames off of vehicles and take them apart for lumps, which is how I used to do things, but they changed the time required for that. So it takes much longer to dissect a frame. I think it's like two hours per frame. That's just not really feasible time-wise. So I think we will just batter 
I mean, can I can I smash these frames? Are they too tough? That's pretty loud. Yeah, we don't seem to be doing anything. So let's stop. Um, are any of you metal? Lumps? Okay, that's what we're looking for. And then you would just be scrap. Okay. So we'll take these. We know we can smash the wreck. We've done that before. So we can just, yeah, start battering this thing down. Some parts are going to be too durable. Like trying to smash these actual frame parts is probably not going to work. Um, but the various damaged pieces should all be pretty smashable. Um, and I, I don't I don't know how long I should smash apart before I think like, oh, it's not possible. So we'll just batter all around here. <laughs> this is just petty vandalism in the apocalypse. All right, well, we should probably get something to talk about, right? I'm just standing around. I could tell you about my life, but we've been doing that a lot lately. So let's get a random question. Have I ever showed you my random questions, by the way? Here's, uh, I just have a notepad full of, of random questions. All right, so, uh, click, scroll. What have you been most proud of learning lately? Uh, actually, I have not been learning very much lately. So if you, I don't know if I've said this before, but one of, I, I gotta click on the game. Click on the game, there we go. Uh, one of the things I, I do in my free time a lot is try to learn new skills. I believe that, uh, like people think about we did we definitely talked about this before i don't know how long ago but people think about like improving their life and making money uh, people think about finances a lot because obviously finances are you know a huge thing that many people deal with or are lower income like me or or whatever and people think about like oh well in order to, to improve my life i have to make more money which is a lot of times is pretty true but people don't think about it the right way. People think about like, um, I want to make, I, I need a raise, right? Or I need to leave my job and find a different job if I want to make money, which is not strictly true. And so one of the things that I think about a lot is just trying to improve myself as a person, trying to learn new skills to be able to do new things uh, and, and stuff like that. So. I spend a lot of my time trying to improve myself as a person. Some of that is therapy and just like literally trying to improve like from a moral like lifestyle perspective, trying to be a better person, but also like trying to learn new skills so that I'm more financially stable in the future. Because right now, spoiler alert, I am not financially stable. And in fact, most of the time I'm very hard pressed for money. So part of my my goal is like, I want to, I want to learn new skills. So like I learned video editing and sound engineering stuff to some extent, I'm much worse at sound, you know, sound stuff. Like I could help someone set up their EQ and, you know, teach them about how do you, what a compressor is and that kind of stuff. But for the most part, I'm not super great at audio engineering, but I've learned a lot about it. And, uh, YouTube has taught me quite a few things, many of which are not super valuable in day-to-day -day life but i remember being like i remember being a teenager like i don't know i i my point is <laughs> point is you're supposed to uh try to learn new skills i'm a big proponent of learning new skills so i'm always encouraging people to learn things and i spend a lot of my free time trying to learn something new uh really regardless of what it is i like learning new things so i i spend probably way more time than your average person trying to learn a new skill and, and evolve as a human being. Um, Cause I think a lot of people just can't be bothered. They, they think they don't have time for it. So in general, I spent a lot of time doing it, but I haven't really been doing it lately. I was listening to a lot of business books and podcasts and stuff like that and picking up, you know, little tidbits here and there. I don't know if that really counts as a skill per se because it's kind of a open thing that you know has a lot of it, it like a lot of variety to what kind of information is available but i i've i, I don't know i've learned a lot over the years I, I haven't i can't think of anything lately i've been very lazy over the last couple of weeks i've been struggling a little bit off and on i've been trying not to talk about it we haven't really talked about a lot of things lately i've just been um trying to go through the motions and keep myself stable. And yeah, I, I guess I've been slacking off a lot. 
I can't even think of anything I've really done. I mean, I ran a lot of errands over the last couple of weeks. I've been very busy in my personal life, but I can't think of the last thing I really learned as a skill. I mean, I learn facts on an almost daily basis. You know, someone will say something online and I'll Google it because I don't know what they're talking about. And then I'll, I'll end up reading a lot, you know, going down a rabbit hole because I love to learn things. But like, I can't think of any skills I've learned recently. So probably nothing. What's the, what's the actual question? What have you been most proud of learning lately? Yeah, no pride whatsoever. I don't, and, and in fact, I don't really draw pride from that. Um, you know, me learning things, it's not about being proud of myself or, or, you know, any of that. It's about growing as a person so that in the future, I'm more viable as a human being. Because currently, I don't function very well, you know, and I struggle a lot just to be a human. You know, I, I deal with things like cr crippling emotional stuff on an almost daily basis that most people are not burdened by that. Like most people have baggage, don't get me wrong. Um, and maybe it's terrible to say my stuff is worse than other people's stuff, but like my stuff is pretty bad sometimes. And, you know, I just, I, just, I don't know. I, I don't take pride in, I, I just view it as like a human responsibility. Like. You as a human being, you are the sum of every experience you've ever had. We're looking for plating again. I'm betting it's a learned recipe. Why can I, why? Okay, so mechanical mastery has the spiked plating. Does it also have hard plating? No. Okay, plating. So we can make spiked as well. The benefit of that is that it's Oh, it is more materials. It requires scrap metal, but we have so, so much of it. Let's look at spike plating. If it's a higher damage and durability, we would do that instead. So we're looking for plating. Literally nothing. Oh, it, no, we're looking for RAM. So spiked RAM is 550 durability, 200% damage versus a steel RAM, which is 100 more HP an extra pound and a 50% less damage. The reality is I don't know that I need the extra damage because hitting something with a vehicle is already very damaging. 100 less HP, that's about 15% of the overall HP reduction for 30% more damage, 33% more damage. Um, Let's go spiked screw it if we're gonna have a ram on the front of our vehicle we might as well go like super apocalyptic with it and have you know bloody spikes on the front end of our vehicle why not let's do it internet so we're gonna make a bunch of spiked plating it is uh gonna use most of our actually not really we we got plenty of lumps of steel i think our vehicle is five wide three interior and two on the edges so we need five spiked plating although how long does this take an hour how big is this item? 17 liters. <sighs> oh wait, no, that's for five of them. Each one is three and a half liters. I was going to say we should take a few extra so that if we have to make repairs on the road, we don't have to stop and forge a new spiked plating. But honestly, we're going to repair it so frequently that it should never get damaged to the point where it completely disappears. Do we need extra? I don't think we do. We'll just make five. You don't have enough charges. No, don't craft. So what we want to do here is install the welding rig into our vehicle, which I had not considered until now. That will enable us to weld at our leisure directly from our vehicle's batteries. So I think we'll put that next to the kitchen here because then we could just open the door and craft outside if we needed to. Is this going to be close enough? Well, we can bring the workbench over. I want to put a workbench in this as well. And if we craft... Okay, so if we stand here to craft food or here, we need a workbench within one tile. That's plenty. We just wouldn't be able to put it in the center because it would block movement. So we can pull out one of these sides and put the workbench in. That way we would have access to all things if we stood on this square. So we can put the welder here. That's fine. So let's yank out that cargo space. That would be right behind. 
No. Right next to the kitchen unit. So we'll yank out the cargo space. Great. And we'll put that somewhere else in the vehicle when we're able. Let's jump inside here and try installing. I don't think we have the welder handy. Weld. Welding rig. We do have the ability to install it. Uh, bolt turning. Great. Install that, please. I would have thought it was welded in, but I guess we're bolting it in. Um, seems like everything requires welding for, for vehicles, I guess. It feels like that anyway. So, All right, so now we have a welder that uses our vehicle power. Let's yank this. Oh, you strain yourself trying to move the heavy workbench. Well, it's just covered in stuff. I mean, it's not that heavy. All right, let's grab the forge tools and drop them over here. Grab the workbench. And we should be close enough to everything we need. Pull it one closer. So we should be able to do this from here. Spiked plating. And we'll make five of those. And we will use uh, scrap metal for the spiky part. And we will use the arc welder. No. Which one is uh, crap? We don't know which one is which. This one? I hope that's the right one. You have insufficient welder charges. Of course, I used the wrong one. All right, craft items, no. Continue working on craft and use the welder that's nearby. That should be our vehicle welder. Oh, look at the spike plating. It looks like a Lego, uh, but I'm sure that these are the spikes. So, okay, cool, cool. Now I would like to, I don't know if we need line of sight, so let's open those curtains. And we actually don't need to be up front to do it. I'm curious what the spike, the sprite looks like. We'll put the spiked ram on the front. Let's see this beautiful. Oh, oh no, that's a bummer. There's no sprite. Get that mouse cursor out of here. All right. Well, no sprite for the for the ram, I guess. That's a bummer. I was really excited to see it spattered in blood with the blood of my enemies that fell before me, but alas. All right, so we'll get this ram installed. This should make uh, getting through the town a little bit easier as well, because we're gonna deal more damage, which means uh, they shouldn't get caught. Like, you know, when I, when I hit things in Cataclysm, they always seem, oh, oh, wait a minute. Why is it sticking off the edge of my, oh, it's not, right, this, we talked about this before. This sprite only takes up like a fifth of the tile. So it looks like there's no vehicle here, but there is. And it makes my X's look really lopsided because of that. I hate that. <laughs> okay. Uh, but anyway, when I'm driving and I hit something in Cataclysm, usually it's like this. It comes in, it hits the front of my vehicle, and I'm usually going pretty slow. So they kind of just stick in the middle as I move forward and then they eventually slide by or they die and go under the vehicle itself. With the spiked ram, it should be a little bit easier, I think, to to, to kill them. So they should get stuck less, which means like, like let's say we're, we're driving and after a while we get a broken windshield. Normally a, an enemy could possibly pop up onto the windshield and come in the vehicle that way. But I think with the ram, it's just so much more likely to kill them before they get to that position. So I think this is ultimately a good decision. So we did put a RAM on it. All right, and we did get another medium storage battery, by the way, that's fully healed, which is absolutely shocking because we basically went to this wreck and beat on it with a baseball bat and it just magically popped out a, a fully intact storage battery. So I think that's hilarious, but yeah, we might as well pop that in. I mean, we are so good power-wise, we really don't need more medium storage batteries, but. We're already here, let's do it. Pop in another storage battery. You really can't have enough batteries. I mean, there's really no downside whatsoever. The only downside is that this list gets bigger and there's no way to sort this list. So you'll see our, our two big batteries are separate and there's no way for us to shuffle them so that they make more sense. So that's fun, uh, but other than that, it's fine. And you'll see this battery again is not uh, leaky or anything like that. In fact, none of these should be leaky. So let's just keep plopping in storage batteries. I mean, there's no reason not to. Is there a battery here? There is. Any other batteries? Only the small ones. Yeah, so I think we're good. 
So our total, I wish it would say, where does it say somewhere our total battery storage potential? I don't think it does. So we're at 82%. I mean, we're at over 100,000 potential battery store, so that's pretty substantial. We probably should put some more gasoline in this bad boy at some point, but for now, internet, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you had a good time. I'll be back with more Cataclysm Dark Days ahead in the near future. Remember to hit that like button. Click that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Tell me how much you love me. And I'll be back in the next episode. So thanks for being here. See you next time.